in genetics and genomics crossing over is refers to the exchange of a segment of chromosome between a pair of homologous chromosome by this exchange the chromosomes can organize themselves in a new arrangement and it is the ultimate cause of the variation or genomic variation hello friends welcome to biology concern i am animesh and in this video i am going to discuss about chromosomal crossing over in brief so you can understand each of the point of crossing over easily so let's jump into the topic first of all what is the definition of chromosomal crossing over so crossing over as related to the genetics and genomics refers to the exchange of dna between the paired homologous chromosomes that is one from each parent that occurs during the development of the egg and the sperm cells in the meiosis this process results in new combinations of alleles in the gamete that is the egg or sperm which is formed which is ensured the genomic variation in any offspring produced so basically by the exchange of genomic segment or the exchange of chromosomal segment we received a genetic variation or genomic variation in the offspring so first of all we have to know about homologous chromosome what is homologous chromosome and then we can uh, jump over the chromosomal crossing over so first of all <coughs> we inherit one set of chromosome from our mother and one set of chromosome from our father so basically from our mother and from our father we inherit haploid number of chromosome that is n haploid number of chromosome that is denoted as n so this haploid number also known as a set of chromosome so this is also known as set of chromosome so this set of chromosome varies from species to species that means in case of humans 2n is equals to 46 so n equals to 23 in case of monkey 2n equals to 42 and n equals to 21 in case of cow 2n equals to 38 and n equals to 19 so as you observe here the n or the haploid number the haploid number of chromosome varies from species to species if a species has changed then this haploid number of chromosomes are getting changed so what is homologous chromosome so we inherit one set of chromosome from our father and one set of chromosome from our mother so here is a one set and here is a one set okay one set so one set so in maternal chromosome so let's assume this is our maternal chromosome just one chromosome okay and let's assume this is our paternal chromosome right so if we consider this is a chromosome number 15 so both of the chromosomes are chromosome number 15 so this is also chromosome number 15 and this is also chromosome number 15 so this inherited from mother and this inherited from father this is the small arm which is denoted as p and this is the long arm which is denoted as q so p comes from a latin word latin word petite meaning small so this chromosome have several regions and this chromosome also has several regions so let's assume these are the regions of the chromosome these are the regions of the chromosome so let's assume one position this is the 24.1 position so if the maternal chromosome have 24.1 locus paternal chromosome has also 24.1 locus so if we assume this locus of the particular chromosome denoted for a particular allele or particular gene say uh, say for example let's assume this 24.1 number of locus this locus has a gene which encodes for eye color okay 
which encodes for eye color. So similarly, this 24.1 region of the mother, mother's gene, also denoted from uh, denoted for uh, eye color. Okay, eye color. But the paternal chromosome and the maternal chromosome have different uh, variations. Okay, the trait is similar. The trait is here is the eye color. Okay. So the trait is here is the eye color, but we don't know about the color. So let's assume this eye color from maternal chromosome encodes a brown color. Okay. And this chromosome from the paternal one denote as black. So here is black eye color and here is brown eye color. So let's assume if two chromosomes have the similar kind of genes on its same locus, then these chromosomes are known as homologous chromosome. That means from top to bottom, one end to another end, these paternal chromosomes uh, have these genes and maternal chromosomes have also the same kind of genes. The trait is same, that is hair color, eye color, uh, lip structure, ear structure, nose structure, etc. But they are not exactly the same, okay. They are not exactly the same, but this region or this locus represents the same kind of gene that is represent the same similar trait or same trait, but not exactly the identical. If this locus of maternal chromosome and paternal chromosome are uh, encodes for the similar or identical gene, then these chromosomes is known as sister chromatid. But if these segments or these locus encodes similar kind of gene, then this chromosome is known as homologous chromosome. That is homo means same, locus means locus. So in same locus, it represents similar kind of genes or it encodes for similar kind of genes. So this is the homologous chromosome. Now jump, we jump over the uh, crossing over. So what is the mechanism of crossing over? So mechanism, mechanism of crossing over. So what is the mechanism of crossing over? So in the case here, this crossing over always occurs in the pachytin substage in meiosis 1 of prophase 1. So in the gamete cells or sexually reproducing animals, uh, when the meiosis is occurs or when the meiosis is uh, happened, then this chromosome, so one chromosome, let's assume this chromosome belongs from father and this chromosome belongs from mother. So they are getting duplicated by DNA replication. So after replication, this chromosome has duplicated. So first of all, this chromosome is duplicated and produces its identical one, produces identical one, which is known as sister chromatids. So these two chromatids or chromosomes known as sister chromatids because all the genes are the same in both of the chromosomes and this maternal chromosome also duplicated and produces is identical one okay so whenever this occurs or this stage happens this stage is known as tetrad as because there is two bivalent is there so this is the one bivalent and this is the other bivalent. So whenever these two bivalents comes close together, they form a tetrad structure. So basically these tetrad structure are getting into the crossing over. So the exchange of the segments, so this arm of the chromosomes, one from maternal and one from paternal, they are uh, overlapping with each, each another. And after overlapping, they produces a point. So after overlapping, so let's assume this is here.
so they overlap at this point okay so they overlap at this point and this point is known as chiasmata chiasmata or chiasma chiasma after overlapping with one another they are replaced or they are taking one another's segment so now after that this red maternal chromosome got the blue one or received the blue one and this blue paternal one receives the red segment this phenomenon is ultimately done by a enzyme known as recombinase so recombinase an enzyme which is responsible for the exchange of the chromosomal segments okay so recombinase performs a vital role in the exchange of this particular segment so now this red chromosome or maternal chromosome having the blue portion and this blue chromosome or paternal chromosome having this maternal one or red portion so now they are combining in a new form and this can generate a genomic variation in the offsprings now there are several factors for this crossing overs so <clears throat> if we consider this is a chromosome okay so if we consider this is a chromosome and there is a three gene segments are there one is a another one is b and one is c so if this is a gene a this is a gene b and this is a gene c so and this one is another chromosome and this is also have same gene a small a small b and small c so these are the genes so first point or first parameter for the crossing over is the minimum distance between two genes so the minimum distance between two genes at least 50 centimorgans okay so whenever the distance is 50 centimorgan centimorgan then crossing over takes place crossing over takes place so if the minimum distance between two genes are mean 50 centimorgans apart that means a or b a and b situated 50 centimorgans apart this is the minimum distance then crossing over occurs between the two segments otherwise crossing over does not take place and these two segments or these two genes are inherited together in the next offspring which is denoted as linkage so 50 centimorgan is the basic rule of the crossing over now the smallest unit if we assume this a portion is cross over with this small a portion so the smallest smallest portion or segment which undergoes to crossing over is known as recon okay recon so recon is a segment that is the smallest portion or smallest segment of the chromosome which undergoes to the crossing over now third thing is that if we have two chromosomes like this so this is a b and c segment and this is also small a small b and small c segment then first if the crossing over occurs between a and b segment we have got a new combination that is capital a small b small c small a capital b capital c so this variety is known as SCO or single crossover variety single 
क्रॉस ओवर वैरायटी एंड इफ देयर इज टू पोर्शन आर देयर और टू क्रॉसिंग ओवर्स ऑकर्ड सो दिस इज स्मॉल ए स्मॉल बी एंड स्मॉल सी एंड दिस वन इज द कैपिटल ए कैपिटल बी एंड कैपिटल सी नाउ फर्स्ट क्रॉसिंग ओवर ऑकर्ड बिटवीन ए एंड बी एंड सेकेंड क्रॉसिंग ओवर ऑकर्स बिटवीन बी एंड सी वी रिसीव और वी गेट अ न्यू कॉम्बिनेशन हुई इज हुई इज कैपिटल ए स्मॉल बी कैपिटल सी स्मॉल ए कैपिटल बी स्मॉल सी ओके सो दिस वेराइटी इज नोन एज डी सी ओ और डबल क्रॉस ओवर वेराइटी सो इफ द क्रॉसिंग ओवर ऑकर्स बिटवीन वन पोर्शन ऑफ दिस और वंस बिटवीन वन सेगमेंट ऑफ द जीनोम और क्रोमोजोम देन दिस इज नोन एज नॉन सिंगल क्रॉस ओवर वेराइटी एंड इफ द क्रॉसिंग ओवर ऑकर्स बिटवीन टू पोर्शन ऑफ द से होमोलोगस क्रोमोजोम और पेयर ऑफ द होमोलोगस क्रोमोजोम देन दिस इज नोन एज डी सी ओ और डबल क्रॉस ओवर वेराइटी सो दिस इज द डबल क्रॉस ओवर सिंगल क्रॉस ओवर रेकॉन मिनिमम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू जीन्स हैव टू बी फिफ्टी सेंटीम ऑर्गन सेपार्ट एंड दिस इज द क्रॉसिंग ओवर हुई इज ऑकर इन पैकाइटीन सब स्टेज पैकाइटीन ऑफ प्रोफेज वन ऑफ मियोसिस वन इन सेक्सुअली रिप्रोड्यूसिंग एनिमल्स दैट मीन्स इन गैमेट्स दैट मीन्स स्पम्स एंड एग्स ओके सो दिस इज द ऑल अबाउट क्रोमोजोमल क्रॉसिंग ओवर रेकॉन कायाजमाटा एंड सिंगल क्रॉस ओवर वैरायटी एंड डबल क्रॉस ओवर वैरायटी इफ यू लाइक दैट वीडियो प्लीज इट द लाइक बटन डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग